Hello everybody, I'm Blazing Rebecca, and welcome back to, well, the end of Undertale, almost. But, uh, <laughs> it's different now because Elpis is there, and, uh, Tavaris is on top of her, and Undyne is there, and Sans is out to lunch, apparently. <laughs> so, here we go. Hello. Hi, Asgore. Remember, I, uh, showed you mercy, but then you were killed? By Flowey. This is the barrier. Okay, we're not gonna talk about that. This is what keeps us all trapped in the ground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do whatever you, what you must. I think I'm. Yeah, I'm ready. I see. This is it then. Ready? Not really. And there's a soul skin. Hello, souls. How are you doing? Why are you all in, like, test tubes? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Again. Ah, you too, buddy. Goodbye. Oh, oh, well, okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, bye. I wish I made that noise like, ah! What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. Hi. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. I, I know, I know that, I know that. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But, I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. Ah, uh, man, uh, 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 so and so. And ultimately, it would burn you with a horrible choice. Such a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. Well, I already did once, actually, but, uh, you know, I didn't kill him. However, I realized... I cannot allow that. Of course you can't. It is not right to sacrifice someone some simply to let someone leave here. Are you sure about that? Well, no, 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 actually. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let's suspend this, this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not toy me, dreamer. Okay, you pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Am I even still here? Taking six souls from the humans and come back and free everyone peacefully. That's still not the best kind of solution, but okay. But instead you made everyone live in despair. Wow, you're really giving them the treatment, aren't ya? <laughs> because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. God damn it, Asgore. Tori. You're right. I am a miserable creature. But, but, do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. Oh, <laughs> she made him cry. Yeah, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or I'm gonna kill someone! No, no, please don't undine. I'll... Uh... Oh, hello, I am Toriel. Are you a human friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Ascor, is that your ex? Wow! <laughs> Burn! Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Oh, oh hi! H hey N nobody hurt each other. I completely forgot where her voice was. Mm huh? Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello! Uh, ha ha hi! There's two of them? Uh... Hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undone for help! Hello! Oh, hello, your majesty! Hey, human. What? <clears throat> Did As 
for a shave? And clone himself? Actually, now that I see it, now all the letters there are shaken. Is that normal? Hey guys, what's up? That voice! Oh! Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you, finally. Your name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, I ask or! Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. About how you're a white little bitch and everything. What did he say? <laughs> um, I don't think he said that. <laughs> okay, Papyrus, calm down. Wowee. I can't even believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. She's not a clone, for God's sake. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does the skeleton titles roof with? Roof with. Hmm. Snowproof roof tiles? <laughs> no, but that actually is a good idea. You should try that sometime. No, but no! A skeleton tiles is roof with... SHINGLES! Oh. What? I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. I'm not totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to, uh... Stop going after furry boss monsters and... <clears throat> well, apparently furries are involved. Just get to know really cute, cute fish? It's a metaphor. Sure. Right. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Okay. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? Well, the audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy, Manaton. Right, Elvis? Uh, Elvis? Mm. No. He's right. Let's do it! Yeah, just do it on live TV, okay? Well, uh, I guess. Uh, if you want to, huh? Then, huh? Don't hold anything back. Wait, um, wait. Uh, this is happening? Okay, cannon ship. W wait! Not in front of the human. Oh well, god damn it! No, do it in front of the human. Fine. Uh, right. So sorry, I got a little carried away there. Oh, do you think? <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. I hope you don't mind, but I'm kind of making your life sound like a maniacal woman. Okay, sorry. Oh, that is all right, my child. Then, <laughs> actually, you really shouldn't even be calling me my child. I'm over twenty years old. But look at all the great friends you have made. I think, I think you will be happy here. Okay. H hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Wait, really? Well, uh, besides her. <coughs> okay. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how'd you know how to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. Well, shit. I think we know who the tiny flower is. A tiny... flower? Well, god damn it. Oh, and this creepy music is back. Thanks a lot. You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls! And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend souls are gonna be mine too! <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. Holy, now that's, that cannot be true. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real fu- Wait, that nightmare fuel was not your real form before? Of course it wasn't. Hee hee hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this, you ask? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. And 
And there's the break breaking the fourth wall right there. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? <clears throat> but this game between us will never end. Oh, I think it will. A hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Wow, you're kind of a prick. Over and over. That face is terrifying. And over. <laughs> Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. There's right there, you idiot. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. And I'll be back with more. See ya!